What's up guys, Mike Tierney here from Princess Auto. Welcome to Tech Tips with Mike T. We're talking about log splitter accessories and log accessories. So, lots of things to choose from. Um, you know, there's some bolt-on products that you can get for your log splitter, um, then some of the handling of the logs to the log splitter or getting ready to split logs or cut logs. Uh, first product here is um, a Speedco uh, product brand um, for their round style um, log splitter beds. Um, it's a, a log catch. So uh, some of the models come with them, some of the lower uh, price point models don't. So there's an accessory available when it comes to the log catch. And uh, this basically just saves your back a little bit. Um, it'll catch the logs from once they've been split, but also you can preload a log on top and, and um, uh, basically move the logs and, and process them as you go. So uh, a catch is a, it's not a must, but it is a great accessory to bolt onto your log splitter. Uh, you do have to keep in mind there are different uh, mounting um, styles. So this one's for the round style on a Speedco. Handling the log, whether you're getting ready to, you know, chainsaw, cut, whatever it is, process the log. Um, once you've got some bigger sections of logs that are cut, maybe you're getting ready to put them on the log splitter, is the, uh, the timber jack. So the timber jack is basically a foot. And what it does is it's got a clamp with a, uh, basically a, a sharp end. You rotate it over, you grab a hold of the log, and then you prop the log up. So if you're cutting it, getting it ready to go onto the log splitter, you're not actually cutting into the, uh, the dirt with your chain. So it, and it helps you maneuver the, uh, the logs around. There's also another product that's called a PV. It's kind of like a big poker stick and uh, that helps you move larger logs around instead of trying to you know, break your back and uh, get logs into position. Handling logs again, there's a handheld um, basically set of tongs, a log tong. Uh, basically they are a, um, a spreadable jaw and as you start to pick up the weight of the log, it bites into the log and you can hold it by hand. Sometimes it's a little easier to carry around um, this way than it is to hold a big log and, and maneuver it that way. Um, you can pick the logs up, put them onto your log splitter bed and uh, basically split that log. So log tongs, nice little cheap um, accessory uh, that works really well. Um, depending on what you're doing, there are also a couple of different types of uh, log shaves. So log shaves are um, either a straight cutting system or a more of a rounded cutting system. So if you're debarking your log, so for whatever reason you may not want uh, um, the log to have bark on it, um, Maybe you're making furniture, maybe you're, you know, cutting logs to, uh, to fit together. Um, basically, you've got different options. There's four or five different sizes that you can get, and they have a nice sharp edge, and you're basically just pulling towards yourself as you take the bark off. Just be mindful. Sharp edges can cause some injuries to fingers, so uh, be mindful. Wear, typically wear gloves when you're handling them. So I'll just move this out of the way so we can see the next batch of products. So uh, a log choker. So when you're trying to you know, move your logs that you've cut or, or in big sections, the choker, um, big cable, um, it's got rings so that you can uh, uh, connect uh, you know, a hook to or um, you know, whatever it is you want to mount that to. It actually will go over a, a hitch ball if you wanted it to. And you just wrap your, uh, your logs or, or this around your logs. And um, you, uh, you can do, depending on the model that you buy, um, you can do two or three logs at a time if it's long enough. And then you just haul them out with your lawn tractor, ATV, whatever it is, your truck, and uh, get them to the site that you're gonna be starting to process that log for log splitting, log cutting, whatever, whatever you're gonna use that for. So a choker, really good option, um, just uh, quickly move logs out of the area that you've cut them to an area where you're going to process them. The last product is a log splitter cover. 
Um, so you can get them in different sizes. Um, specific models have, uh, you know, um, in this case, it a, fits a 22 through 35 ton log splitter. So, you know, you want it to fit as, as form fitting as possible, but, you know, um, you know they, they, they do vary in size. So uh, whether you're buying a, an actual cover, um, this is a Speedco cover, it will cover other log splitters typically, um, but you can also use a tarp or, or any other covering material. You just want to prevent your log splitter from sitting out in the bare sun, the bare elements, the winter, if you're not using it throughout the winter. Um, it just prolongs the life of your log splitter for a few bucks. These things are, uh, you know, you know, they're expensive when it comes to the log splitter, so you want to protect them. Well, that's it for Tech Tips with Mike T. We'll see you next time.